Hearing the Shah tell of those days, I feel the same wounds puncture my heart once more. Not once has he mentioned my brother's name or his daring feats. If not for my curiosity, I would have silenced this wretched man hours ago. But the details that I crave the most are yet to come. One day, a visitor arrived from the east seeking aid and shelter. His master was the Timurid leader, Babur, who hoped to reclaim his homeland of Transoxiana from the rapacious Uzbek warlord, Shebani Khan. As Babur and Ismail both were avid lovers of poetry, the Timurid was confident that our Shah would happily answer the call. Yet for all of their similarities, Ismail loathed the thought of being compared to this mortal, as he described him. In accepting Babur's request for an alliance, Ismail hoped not for an enduring partnership, but an opportunity to supplant the Uzbeks from the historic Persian region of Khorasan, from which they had been launching raids against his new holdings. Khorasan rightfully belonged to the Timurids, but its links to the Silk Road trade made it one of the wealthiest regions in the world. Ancient shahs such as Cyrus and Yazdegerd had thriven off of its riches, and as uprisings became increasingly common throughout Persia, Ismail believed that this territory was the key to protecting his throne. Although they swore to fulfill the Shah's wishes, there was an unspoken consensus among the Kizilbash that Ismail was overextending himself. Deep inside, they knew that they were headed for a breaking point. Your cub has come to join us. <laughs> How a <appealing. laughs> You will regret your provocations once you are groveling at my feet, Shaban. Drunk with pride after besting those frivolous pony riders. Now you face our professional step warriors. Consider your victory.
your feeble friend off of our soil, and we shall do likewise. We have slain that pompous knave. Now his demoralized horsemen fight with half the ferocity. shall toast this victory with his own skull. Finally, I am free of that scourge. Tell me where I'm needed, Ismael, and I shall reinforce you promptly. I hope you do not take me lightly, Ismael. Given proper provisions, I am no pushover. Ismail needs our help, men! Charge! Oh, and no, I promise that I am not plotting to double-cross you. I would never wish that upon anyone after experiencing it firsthand. Salam, Ori, Ori. Ori. Mikona, Sahi. Nemo. Omode, Sahi, Mohigir. Salam. Memo. Salam. Ori. Chukur. Ori. Sahi. Sahi. Chukur.
Draw near my territory. Make haste and help me parry their assault.
forces will reach us soon. Dispatch your orders to us, and we shall follow your lead, my sheikh. As you wish. Sahih. Draw near my territory. Make haste and help me parry their assault.
صحیح معمار آماده معمار one of the Uzbek castles.
Apex draw near my territory. Make haste and help me parry their assault. This gold is overstuffing my treasury. Take the surplus for yourself and do spend it. The Uzbeks draw near my territory. Make haste and help me parry their assault. 
We have leveled two of Gazgavan's castles. Soon I will be home at last. So much senseless destruction and bloodshed. This is not the path we were taught to tread. Civilization to return to, you know. Gazdavan's castles lie in ruin. Now is our chance to take the city. Wait, what is going on? Why are you just stalling? Enough! All this senseless destruction, and for what? To breed more hostility? Our patience has run out. Oh, 
If only you had foreseen the descent in your ranks, Ismail, we would have prevailed. Now I am forced to migrate to India, never to see my beloved Transoxiana again. Allah gives and Allah takes. Good riddance. At least Khorasan is mine to keep. Like a lion complacent to its privilege, power can corrupt even the savviest of leaders. Ismail's misadventures in Central Asia made the Kizilbash keenly aware of how power had changed him. Consumed by his tireless vanity, his soft words of wisdom were now replaced by fits of rage. As old tribal feuds began to re-emerge, only the fear of retribution still held their loyalty intact. Questioning Ismail about what happened at Gazdevan, he blames his unruly commander for not keeping his subordinates in check. Yet, as much as he denies it by his tongue, his stubborn temper reveals everything to me. Deep inside, I think he knows that Babur surpassed him in many ways. That chronic underdog never took his victories for granted. Even as the Fergana Valley was lost to him forever, he remained steadfast as he crossed the Hindu Kush to start anew. This type of resilience always eluded Ismail, who never accepted that he was capable of making mistakes. Whether or not the Kizilbash were ready to admit it, they secretly wished that he would learn to value this lesson. Then one day, their hopes finally came true, and in the most horrific way possible. Thank you.